Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel Aviation Esport. As you guys know, I've got two channels. This one mainly focusing on uh, eSport, uh, Flight Simulator and uh, DCS and maybe War Thunder in the coming weeks. And the other one, Atishri, where I do the most serious content with a debrief, movie reviews and all the technical stuff. Um, today, the um, goal is to try to do what we call a shit hot break because uh, I just did a review on my other channel of the 480 knots before the Carrier um, F-18 break. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go in DCS, case one recovery, pretty simple setup, you guys can do it. And we're going to try to do a break before the boat, 480 knots and see how it goes. And in the morning, <laughs> and uh, we'll see how it goes on my first attempt. I haven't flown the F-18. I'm a Super Etendard and Rafale Navy pilot. I've got my wings in the US, uh, flying T-45C Goshawk with um, VT-7, um, but uh, never flown the F-18 in real life. So we'll see how it goes. Um, DCS, in my opinion, is, is fairly realistic in the groove. Of course, it's gonna be a bit different, um, but it's pretty good. Uh, I don't have the supercarrier yet, so I'm using the regular version. So if you guys are flying with a super courier, um, sorry about that. Uh, that's not what I'm using. Anyway, upload in progress. Case one. There we go. Checking everything works. Yes. And hook down. <coughs> oh, sorry, morning, as I told you guys. Um, my call sign in French is Ate. It's a play on world with a Shui, Ate Shui. So now you know why. Ate Shui means bless you in French when you sneeze. Okay, so uh, normally in the US Navy, you're going to be breaking at 800 feet. I think in this video, I'm not sure. I've seen videos of guys doing that uh, 600 in that case. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. I don't have a very ideal setup uh, with me right now. I might have to invest a little bit. Okay, so hook is down, approaching the boat, 480 knots and three, two, one, idle power and here we go. So we're gonna be doing 90 degree like this, really try to uh, getting some sort of downwind and then second pull as we're doing the second pull gear coming down put the power back up a little bit because of the spool up time and I climb way too much but hey we're gonna be doing it like this and what you want to do is go back to what you should have so I climb too much not good not good at all. So when you do a mistake like this, you want to correct as soon as possible to get back on your feet, if we can say so, and try to regain something normal. So in real life, I would have been waved off by now. And my issue, I think, is with, got issues with the flaps. Um, now they're down. Okay, let's try again. So uh, lesson learned on this one. Um, in terms of trajectory, it doesn't look too bad. Um, I think that maybe with the flaps I had some issues, not sure why. Um, so what I'm going to be doing on this one is I am going to be unloading a little bit more after the first 90 degree of turn. I'm going to be very careful not to pull too much on the stick and my my ankle um, was like this so I'm going to I'm going to make sure I, I can rest my uh, my forearm. There we go. So let's try again. Uh, yes, I accelerate faster than what I should initially because it's just too boring otherwise. Okay. So run Heading is 350, meaning downwind is going to be about 170. Okay, let's focus a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, pull, 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 pull. Release. One, two, three. Pull back. There you go. Careful not to climb too much. Okay, so I'm too long in the groove on that one. I'm going to be correcting. Okay, so first you want the line up, then you want your ray away, and then you want the good angle. I don't like the F18 like this. Haha, <laughs> it's a bolter. Slightly too much power, not a good AOA. Okay, let's try another time. So, what did we learn on that one? Um, I was too long on downwind, so I released, took too much time on downwind. The issue I have with the aircraft is um, slowing down. With a delta wing would be easier, uh, I'm more used to delta wings. So I think the mistake I made out of that one was um, swing down too much before arriving at the brake. So I'm going to be focusing on having 880 knots at the brake but with an idle engine. I think that the fact that I still had some engine running uh, because of a small delay when I started my brake is what caused the inertia uh, with my airspeed. So I want to make sure uh, on this attempt it doesn't happen. So I'm going to be coming fast like this initially. And then I don't want to climb too much. I'm going to be more careful with my altitude as well. Okay, hook is coming down. Let's take the 500. Yeah. Now I've got idle power, and there we go, Baff. Pull, 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 pull. Okay, and pull, 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 pull. There we go, don't climb too much. And gear is coming down, time to turn. There we go, engine slightly back up. In terms of distance, doesn't look too bad. Slightly high, correcting. Okay, so I'm going to, have to squeeze myself for the lineup here. There you go. And now idle power, because as I roll out, I'm going to have way too much energy. There you go. There you go. Flying the ball. Up, move your finger toes. Full power. There you go. So. Um, what did we just do? Step by step, reviewing the mistakes on every single attempt, we improved. That is exactly what fighter pilots do. Um, we're not superhumans. Uh, we make mistakes, but we have to learn from them. So the um, goal of this video is to show you how you can, flying DCS, um, improve yourself and going step by step and, um, and improving after every single attempt by uh, looking at the way you perform stepping back a little bit, analyzing key points you want to change and you can change them one by one, see how it works and uh, take actions from there. Uh, that's sort of the stuff I explain in my book. It's called a debrief, d.brief, it's on Amazon and uh, it's been the best selling, so <laughs> I hope it helped people. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to look at the attempt I just did from the outside. 
So initially I started with a case one, um, went into the burner just to save time because yeah, it's time consuming. I want to keep those videos short. And after that, the plan is around five, 600 feet, 480 knots, um, brake. Initially, first 90 degree of brake to put yourself at a good beam position. You're looking for about one mile-ish um, idle power. Then um, another f a strong pull to get the good airspeed to lower the gear. And then you want to try to go back to what it should be and what I explained in other, uh, other videos about carry landing. So there you go, idle power and roll, pull, 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 pull. And you see I'm pulling for about slightly more than, there you go, 90 degrees. Now I've got less than 350 knots, pulling hard on the stick. And there you go. And now I'm at 0 0.8 a beam, 0 0.9, so slightly too close. I could have waited uh, two seconds more before doing my second pull. That's a good lesson learned. And now turning, 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 slightly high, 650 feet, but I'm slightly too far, so it makes sense. And now I'm see the flaps are moving, everything is moving and turning, turning, turning. And here I'm really yanking on the stick because I, I was pretty close and now I'm correcting and I want to make my wing level transition as smooth as possible for the AOA control. Now I'm working on my AOA, working on the lineup, working on the glide path. You see the meatball doing small corrections and too high and I did something that is not very cool high coming low at the ramp um, so the LSO wouldn't have liked that too much but I did it uh, sort of on purpose <laughs> okay so I hope you enjoyed this um, this uh, short uh, video clip welcome back on aviation eSport hit the bell go on at uh, shui and you can also hit the bell um, I'll be doing English content every other day I've got tons of English videos as well uh, so make sure you check those out. Go in the playlist, English playlist, and uh, I'm sure you're going to find a lot of stuff to enjoy your lockdown. Live from France, Provence. Weather isn't too great today, but uh, I'm going to be doing the French version now, and I'll be releasing the French version uh, tomorrow. If you want to support the channel, you can buy my book, Debrief, learn some stuff, or we can fly together. I do uh, online coaching, online preparation for exams, and now I'm a uh, full-time keynote speaker. I do webinars, workshops. I adapt aviation method to the corporate world. Fly safe.